Welcome to the IRC Reference Analytics Review. This video provides an overview of IRC Reference Analytics and the process used to enter reference transactions into the LibAnswers platform. Student workers use the IRC LibApps account to access LibAnswers. Website URL and login credentials are located in the LibApps tutorial book and are taped to the underside of the IRC desk computer keyboard. Navigate to LibApps login at Ashland University. Enter the IRC account email address. Add the password, then log in to LibApps. Login directs you to the LibApps homepage. Select AU Library Facts from the My LibApps account box. The LibAnswer dashboard identifies you as an IRC account user. It details chat status and updates and announcements from SpringShare. You may click the X to close this box. The administrative announcement area details information for admin users, IRC resource links, and IRC transfer of funds and print links used to manage purchases, and release color prints. These links open in a new window and should always be available when working. While working in LibAnswers, at any time you can select Dashboard from the menu to return to this page. To enter question data, select Reference Analytics and add Transaction. IRC login credentials immediately default to the Instructional Resource Center data set to add transactions. Enter questions and answers information at the top of the form. Simple questions will easily fit in the first box. Enter a maximum of 140 characters. If you're running a question during the phonics scavenger hunt, use the predefined question option. For this example, we are helping a student locate a children's book. Enter the question asked. If more space is needed for complicated questions, or if the question has additional information, add it into the second box. Once you've finished helping the student, you'll include your answer to the question. Enter enough detail that when reviewing transactions, it will make sense. When entering answer information, remember it is not necessary to fill the question and answer boxes to capacity. Next. We have an area for IRC facts. Do not include the transaction in our knowledge base or search to see if there are similar cues at this point. Fact entries are researched prior to any inclusion in the knowledge base. The timestamp is automatic. You may adjust it if needed or use the current time answering your question. Items are always answered by AU Library IRC, and each user enters their name in the internal notes field. This is done in case there are questions about a transaction. The next item on the form is the read scale. The read scale is used to record qualitative data for each question. It is an evaluation of the question's difficulty based on a scale of 1 to 6. It is determined by time, effort, skills, and knowledge needed to answer the question. This scale has been adapted for IRC use. Copies of Applying the Read Scale are located in Ready Reference and the Tutorial Book. You may also click the Information icon to view General Guidelines. At any time after adjusting the Read Scale, you may hit Reset if you change your mind. The next area is where question data and metadata are entered. There are seven fields for identifying categories. Patron, Question Ask, IRC Question, Library Question, Time Spent, IRC and Liaison Question, Librarian and Reference Question. Keep in mind not every field will be used. Choose only those which apply to the question being answered. In this instance, 
The patron was a student. She was asking the question in the IRC. It was an IRC question about the juvenile collection, and the time spent was five to seven minutes. I would weight this question a three on the read scale, as it required catalog instruction. Any category that isn't used will remain blank. If you change your mind about a category selected, it is possible to deselect by using the link at the bottom of the page. If you click here, it will unselect the fields. Finally, to enter this transaction into Reference Analytics, I will click Submit and Clear. This submits the question and clears the form. If you're entering a number of similar questions, there's always an option to submit. This will clear the question and leave the analytics. Most often, submit and clear is the best choice. The form is now clear and ready for the next transaction. Are you ready for the quiz? Remember, feel free to review this video, peruse the reference analytics tutorials, and ask if you have any questions.